Hi everyone, in this video we will solve the previous year question paper of Bangalore University BCA 5th semester March 2024 In this question uh, it contains the three sections section A, section B and section C section A for 2 marks, section B for 5 marks and section C for the 8 marks and I already solved section A and section B also now in this video we will solve the section C and section C 13th question is already solved in the previous video still you didn't check means please go and check that one and still you didn't subscribe the channel means please subscribe the channel 14th question explain research give the characteristics and the steps involved in a research and define the thesis writing this is asked for six marks the term research is made up of two words re and the search in general re means again and the search means to discover a careful investigation or inquiry especially to seek a new facts in any field of knowledge is referred to as a research. Research is a fundamental activity in academy and the science and the various professional fields. It plays a crucial role expanding human knowledge and solving the problems making informal decisions and advancing the society the research can take various forms such as scientific experiments surveys and data analysis literature reviews and more depending on the goals and the nature of the investigation you need to write the explain the research means you need to write this much and after that characteristics involved in the research First one is here systematic approach. The research follows the structured process with clear objectives. Objective means it aims to gather the facts without personal biases. Empirical relies on observable and the unmeasurable evidence. Logical follows a clear reasoning process and connecting the facts and the conclusion. Replicable can be repeated to verify findings. Analytical focuses on breaking down data to understand the relationships and the pattern. Innovative often leads to new knowledge, ideas or the solutions. Problem oriented aims to address the specific questions or challenges. Steps involved in a research. The first step is here, formulation of the research problem. Identifies the research problem, identify the variables and formulates the hypothesis, define the research question or objective clear. Step 2. Preparing the research design. The researcher defines the scope of the study and selects the study design. Third step is here, developing the data collection and instrument. The research determines the types of data to be collected, methods of data collection and the designs, the research tool. The research instrument is a tool used to collect the data such as questionnaire or the interview guide. Step 4. Selecting the samples. The researcher selects the types of samples and determines the probability and non-probability sampling methods. Step 5 is here writing the research proposal. The researcher outlines the main elements of the research proposal including the research need, data types and the justification for the resources. Collecting data. The researcher collects the data through the observations, interviews, questionnaires. Data collection is a process of gathering the information from the selected samples. Step 7. Processing and analyzing the data. The researcher processes and analyzes the collected data using various methods. Step 8. The writing the research report. The researcher compiles the research finding into a comprehensive report. The research report is a document that summarizes the research project's objectives, methods and results and the conclusions. These are the steps for the involved in, a, in the it's a they are the steps for the research okay next is the define the thesis writing what is the thesis writing the thesis writing is a process of creating a structured academic and a document that presents original research or finding on a specific tip, topic and typically as a requirement for a degree it is asked for the two marks okay next question 15th question, first one here uh, for uh, 4 marks and second one is also for the 4 marks. The first A is here, explain the characteristics involved in the communication and they discuss about the effective classroom communication. It is asked for 4-4 four, four marks, both are asked. 
the characteristics involved in the communication interactive the communication involves the exchange of message between the participants and allowing for the feedback and the response dynamic it is the dynamic process that can adapt and evolve based on the participants and the context and the medium communications Propos proposeful the com communication serves the specific purpose whether it is the it is to inform the pursued and they entertain and express the emotions contextual it is the influenced by the context in which it occurs including the cultural social and the environmental factors fifth point is universal the communication is a universal phenomena occurs in a various forms across the different cultures and the societies the two way process here the communication involves both the sending and receiving the messages making it a dynamic process where feedback plays the crucial role discussion communication often involves the discussion where the participants share their perspectives and the opinions coordination the communication can be used to coordinate activities and achieve the common goals the discussion about about effective classroom communication the effective classroom communication is a essential for the creating a positive productive learning environment it involves the exchange of information ideas and feedback between the teachers and the students active listening active listening involves a paying attention to speaker asking a cl uh, clarifying questions and providing the feedback clear and concise language using the clear and concise language helps to ensure that the message easily understood by the audience nonverbal communication nonverbal communication such as body language and the facial expressions and ca can convey the emotions and attitudes that complement or the contradict verbal communication feedback providing feedback is a essential component of effective communication technology technology can be used to enhance the classroom communication such as online discussion forms video conferencing and educational apps these are about the discussion about the effective cl um, the classroom communication for the four marks it is enough okay um, in the next video we'll solve the next questions still you didn't subscribe the channel means please subscribe the channel and share the videos and press the like button thank you